Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Michael Golden and welcome to Mayor's Ham Shack. Today I want to give you another tip about FT8 and using your uh, Windows computer with it. I have my uh, Micro Bit X set up with a uh, USB sound card and I have it plugged into an antenna out on my deck right now and I have this screen. Nothing. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I have my sound plugged in correctly. Uh, but I want to go in and check a couple settings, and maybe I even want to hear what my radio is actually outputting. Uh, so I know maybe I got my antenna in the wrong spot, or I need to adjust some cabling, or just something like that. Maybe the radio is connecting to the computer fine, and it's something more to how I have my antenna deployed. So let's take a look at a couple settings in WSJTX first, and then we're going to look at a couple Windows settings. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just go over to File, and we're going to go down to Settings, okay? Now here are all of your uh, different settings that you normally have. You have uh, General Radio, Audio, uh, Transmit, Macros, Reporting, Frequencies, Color, and Advanced. We're going to go into Audio right now. And you'll see sound card right here and it has input and output device and currently it's set to input and output device I want to make sure that my computer isn't using some other device whether it be the microphone on my camera or something else inside my computer it's getting audio from so I'm gonna bring this drop down menu and I'm gonna set mine to microphone phone USB audio device. I know in my device manager on my computer that that's what it's called USB audio device so I'm going to select that. I'm going to do the same for output as well. Speaker to USB audio device. All the other settings here are currently OK. So I'm going to hit OK. And of course I see in my uh, graph here that I'm just getting a lot of static, a lot of noise, not maybe a little signal right there in the middle trying to get through. But I can't really hear it. I I'd like to use my ears because you can hear those little tones uh, on the band and you can pick them out a little bit so you, that can kind of help you to see uh, where your problem may lie. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my start menu and this does work in Windows 10 and Windows 11 and I'm going to go to control panel. At the time of this recording the control panel is still in Windows 11. So here we have all these different options and we're going to go to sound. Okay. So we have playback, recording, sounds, communication. The speakers would be for output, sound output. And we're not putting anything out right now. So I could have this window open here, and then I could hit the tune button, and if the sound bar goes up, I know the sound's going out. The other thing I can do is I can go over here to recording. And find the microphone I'm using, which is right here. Now it looks like there is a little bit of sound coming out of there, so let's see if we can hear the sound. So I'm going to go to Properties, and then we're going to click on Listen here. This gives me an option to listen to this device. I can check mark it here, and then select the playback. I want to make sure it's not the playback that I'm using for my radio but the speakers of the computer, which I have right here, real tech, high definition audio, your computer may vary, and it will not turn on until I hit apply. So I'm going to hit apply, and now you can hear the static that's going through my computer. I'm not really hearing any WSJTX uh, or FT8 sounds, so I likely have a problem with my antenna. I can leave this on or I can uh, just go ahead and turn it off and I can go ahead and troubleshoot and come back to this later to my antenna.
Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to watch this video. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button and leave any comments or questions you have. I'd be glad to help you. This is KM8YOR73s.